fresh waters are the most biodiverse environment on Earth with more than 140,000 species described. However, they are also suffering from the highest biodiversity decline. There's been a decline of over 80% in the populations of freshwater um, organisms. More than half of the world's river systems are affected by uh, drying. They are uh, highly affected and threatened by uh, climate change and human influences. We have to shift our mind. Now we are managing permanent rivers and we will have to manage temporary river in coming years. Driver is a European research project running for four years. Driver is organized around five work packages interdependent hydrology, biodiversity, biogeochemistry, socioeconomy, and adaptive management. It aims to collect, analyze, and model data from nine river networks scattered across North, South America, Europe, and China to translate the effect of climate change on the functional integrity of drying river networks. The first success story is that we produced for the very first time a global estimate of the prevalence of drying that was published in Nature in 2021. And this is calling for a shift in paradigm in river science and management to integrate drying. The second success story is that we generated a smartphone application dedicated to the observation of drying across river network. We used it to calibrate our hydrological models, but it's also uptaken by some local stakeholders to monitor flow state from a regulatory perspective. We are very happy to succeed in modeling flow intermittence using spatially distributed hydrological model tested across six drain river networks. So the idea is to provide streamflow intermittence data um, all over Europe. And to achieve that, uh, first of all, ensembles of stream flow data, which are um, calculated by a global hydrological model. They are used and downscaled from 0.5 degrees to 15 arc seconds. And this is then, uh, the data is further transferred by using a machine learning model to receive drying patterns all over Europe. This data can then be used by, um, by other teams and driver for, uh, for assessment or quantification of uh, these um, current and future impacts of climate change and um, the impacts on then biodiversity or ecosystem functions and services. Drying decreases biodiversity, but also selects the species with particular adaptations. For example, in some climatic regions, such as the Mediterranean, a species have life cycles synchronized to drying events that are not found in other regions. And of course, the responses of uh, biodiversity will thus depend on the ability of a species to be adapted to drying. In addition, drying will not uh, only affect biodiversity, it will also cascade into changes in ecological functions and ecosystem services. And managers need to be ready to face this challenge to adopt a specific mitigation and adaptation actions and to develop adaptive biomonitoring and conservation measures to preserve future freshwater ecosystems and their biodiversity. In 2040-2050, we, uh, we foresee that we will have around 20% less water than now. And that means we will have problems in order to maintain minimum flow regimes, in order to preserve ecosystems in our rivers and also to preserve uh, uses, water uses for, for uh, human activity. We are a part of the stakeholder committee in the driver project. We are water managers from different uh, countries around Europe, from the north to the south. Driver project is uh, the, the experts are working on providing new techniques, new tools, new nature-based solutions in order to be adapted to temporary rivers for us, for water managers in order to be applied in our countries, in our rivers, uh, in our basins. We are focusing on nature-based solutions to mitigate the drying in catchments and consequently in rivers. For cities, these solutions are less nature-based, so to speak. For example, green roofs, 
or green areas, enhancing water retention capacity of the city and rainwater harvesting from these kind of interventions can reduce water consumption in urban areas. But then there's also different kind of agricultural nature-based solutions, for example, mulching or drip irrigation or deep planting on cr or selection of crops for less water demanding. But then there's also a restoration of natural ecosystems of fresh waters, which include re-meandering or revegetation of river banks, which keep the water and retain water more efficiently than barren lands. It's crucial in a future project to couple the effect of drying with that of other human stressors, such as fragmentation by dams or contamination, to have a better view of the future of our fresh waters. This will guide river managers and policy makers to restore and conserve our river network in the face of global change.